Hey everybody, today's video is going to be about stalking. I know you've seen the title and the title of the video is called Stalking the Stalker. So I am basically going to go over stalking, tell you a little bit about my personal experience with being stalked by a narcissist and you know, like I said, the other part of the title is Stalking the Stalker. So um, I'm just going to give some tips and techniques on things that have worked for me and some things that I also wish I would have known at the time when I was really being stalked. So um, we can go ahead and get right into this video. Stalking is something that I know 95% of people that have, you know, dealt with the narcissist have experienced. And it's a very um, scary thing from personal experience. It's very, very scary these narcissists they you know that's one of their favorite hobbies you know that's one of their favorite hobbies when you know the relationship is no longer intact and the way things things are not the way they used to be with you and a narcissist as far as being break breaking up from them and separating or going your separate ways this is one of their favorite hobbies it's just like just a hobby to them they really enjoy it stalking really just gives them an advantage advantage of a situation that they no longer have control over they want to know where you're at what's new with you where you're living at you know what you're doing with your life right now and this is like i said one of their favorite weapons that they like to use it's just they will go through many many different things many different means to try to figure this out figure out what's going on with you right now a lot of these narcissists, they will spend a lot of time. They'll spend a lot of time previewing their phones online for hours and hours and hours, just going through your social media profiles, accessing you, you know, looking at your pictures, looking at your comments. Just, it's just bizarre, you know? It's just really bizarre. They will do this. That's why I suggest if you just experience a breakup with a narcissist and I, I would suggest just starting all over, just deleting all your social media, all your profiles, and just starting all over. I know that's hard for a lot of people. I know, I know, but if you're especially in a dangerous situation where you're involved in a um, legal system in some type of way, whether it's civil or criminal, I would suggest that you really delete all your social media because you don't want to get them access to where you're at, what places you like going to or eating at. You don't need them to know anything about you at this point. Trust me. As I mentioned in past videos, I was stalked. That's why I'm making this video. I was, you know, stalked. I seen him outside of my apartment when um I had a restraining order against him. So narcissists do not care about restraining orders. And I'll get more into that in a little while. I seen him out where I worked at, you know, before I was going into work. I seen him um, near my job. So out of all the places in town that he could be at around the time that I'm, you know, going to work, he's actually there like that's not a coincidence that's just scary and that kind of scared me the most it kind of um made me have a lot of anxiety even worse because I always felt like I had to watch my back I wasn't used to this I was a person that went from never watching their back at all to watching my back everywhere I went several times a day so it changed me in a lot of ways it made me um have bad anxiety and depression and for a lot of you who you know haven't been you know diagnosed with that you probably, some of you probably have, you know, you're going to have to get on medicines and just to calm your nerves because a lot of your nerves are really, 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 really bad. So stalking can really, it can really, you know, add to the stress that you already are experiencing when it comes to dealing with a narcissist. Um, Just moving on, guys. I mean, you know, these people, they want to figure this new you out. You you got a challenge for them. You presented a challenge for them. And, you know, narcissists in their sick, twisted ways, they do like challenges. So they're going to, they're, they're also doing this, also stalking you just to make you feel like, like threatened, you know. I mean, I mean, they feel threatened. I'm sorry. They feel threatened. They feel really threatened. They feel scared that you're going to expose them. And this is how they move. This is how they are. This is the way that they operate inside of their minds. They just like to 
throw the first blow first before you can throw it. That's how they are. That's why they always are. It seems like they're always 10 steps ahead of you just because of things like this. It seems like they always know something, always have something on you or just something that they have because they, this is how their minds are. They don't, they are so scared that people are going to find out the real them. So they'll go through anything to protect their false selves. So they're going to try to expose you first. You're not going to, you know, in their minds, you're not going to try to get me. I'm going to get you first. So this is why they out here watching you, following you on social media, doing things that they know that they shouldn't be doing. And this is why they start the smear campaigns that end the half truths. They might tell some of the truth, but the rest of it is a lie just to manipulate people. And they start making people think that you're the crazy one when you're the one that's just, you know, and that's, that's so that's the farthest thing from the truth. This is one thing that can drive a lot of people insane. It's just so hard. It's so weird to explain. And and a lot of people won't understand this unless they really went through it themselves. They'll look at you like you're crazy. That's why you don't need to be explaining this or you don't need to be having these conversations with people that don't have an understanding about narcissism. Those are the last people you need to talk to. And it's hard because they they try to force advice on you, but they just don't know. They don't have the experience. You need to get in in part of a strong support group. You need to follow people that know exactly what they're talking about. Because people that don't know what they're talking about, they can, you know, have you um, just, just in a lot of mess. They can have you missing information and not having a strong case for court when you have to go to court against these narcissists when you take advice from people who don't know what they're talking about they'll have you just your cases will be weaker when they really could be stronger you need the the right advice the you know the right you know understanding of this personality disorder you cannot take advice from somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about (laughs) so anyway these people and narcissists in their sick minds, they want to be the victim so bad. So they'll go through anything that they have to do just to just to try to be the victim. That's why they're going to stalk you, get information, and then they're going to twist it and give half truths to everybody else and, smear, and go on a smear campaigns. So by the time you, if you do got to go to court against them, whether it's domestic violence court or family court, they'll already be spending this tell of you and you'll just be so shocked like I can't believe this like I can't believe it it's just it will stun you and you don't need to be stunned in court you just need to be calm you don't need to be stunned because they will pull some tricks out of the bag in court they will go this far it's so bizarre it's crazy and I can't believe I'm explaining this because it's this is helping me heal this is what I've been through and I just want to help everybody understand this how how crazy this is for you it's very crazy but these narcissists, a lot of them, they feel entitled. They still want to own you in their minds. They want to get close enough to you again so they can talk to you and make everything, make you feel like everything is your fault, that it's not their fault. Because the truth is, they really just can't handle rejection. They can't handle it. They can't handle it. They want that power and control again. They want you back. They want you back to control you, not in a healthy way, because this is a very toxic relationship. Toxic, toxic relationships are horrible. You should not desire to be in a toxic relationship because there's so many healthy, sane people out here. So many healthy people that can love you and, you know, treat you the right way you deserve to be treated. But you have to, to get to that point, you're going to have to be healthier again. You have to nurse yourself back to health. And that's hard to do. But it can happen. I mean, I've did it, and plenty of other people that are survivors have done this. You're going to have to get all that toxic stuff out of your mind, all that brainwashing, all of that control, all of that gaslighting, and all of those things that they do, all of those tricks and things that they do to you. You don't need them. And truth be told, you you, you know you can do better. But this situation, you just don't understand it. So it's making you feel like you need to be with them when it's not the truth you don't need these people you don't need these people at all this is the last thing you need in your life you need to be healthy again so you can get a healthy relationship with a healthy person that can make you happy 
So anyway, these people, like I said, they're stalking you. They are, they're angry, they're humiliated that, you know, at the breakup and they just, just fear that you're going to really expose them. And this is a real dangerous way of thinking. Like they just have a, a backwards way of thinking. They always so scared, so scared that people want to figure out who they are. So they are doing all of these things just so people can not figure out who the real them are, who they really are. It's just not fair. And it's crazy. So that's why, like I said in other videos, you need to get cameras if you're being stalked. Please get cameras. If you listen to this and this is an issue for you, if stalking is an issue for you, please get cameras on your car. I was looking at Amazon yesterday online and I've seen car cameras for like $60, $100. And and if you could just put something like that on the back of your car, I mean, it would just be so good because some of these people are following you guys to the gym, to work, um, following you to your new homes and you just cannot prove it in court. They just, you just cannot prove it. We live in just to this technology, um, era that we live in. It's just amazing. You just have to know how to, you know, protect yourselves and understand what you need. You have to put all the stuff aside and this is a perfect time. Cause a lot of people are getting their taxes back and this is the perfect time to invest in some, you know, equipment like that. If stalking is a real issue for you, for you. You want to protect yourself. It's better if you have a stronger case in court, you know, so you can show all of these videos, all these pictures. Just you want to go in there with so much information on these sickos that people have no choice but to believe you. And if they don't, if a judge don't, you know what I'm saying, if something ever happens, then the court system will definitely get sued. They, they're going to have to be held accountable for something. I will go in there telling everything that this person is doing to you if you're in fear for your life. Get these cameras, get them in your house, get these alarms. You know, you need to keep these extra eyes on these people because they don't care. I mean, they don't care about breaking restraining orders. They don't care. Like they will break them. You'll go to court and get a restraining order one day and the next day they'll be sitting outside your house in the parking lot. How are you going to prove it? I would say have cameras out there, have cameras on your home, have cameras. These narcissists do not mind breaking the law just to stalk you, just to stalk you. And that's so bad. So you have to have that extra eye. You have to have that extra eye. You have to turn the tables around on them. You know, that's why I call this video stalking the stalker. These people think that they can do whatever they want to do and get away with it. That's what it's all about for them. Just getting away with everything. So people can think that you're the one that's crazy, that you're nuts. And trust me, it don't feel good to be explaining this to other people in our society. And they're looking at you like, like you're crazy. Like, oh, I don't know. Did this person really do that? Maybe they just want to talk to you. No, it ain't no talking. If you put your hands on me and you abuse me, which a lot of them do, a lot of them have abused you. That's why you, you know, most narcissists are abusive. If they're not abusive physically, most of them are abusive emotionally. I mean, all of them are abusive emotionally. I'm sorry. But you want to make sure you have that protection. That's all I'm saying. If they feel bad and bold enough to stalk you, you need to stalk them with the camera, making sure that this, all this stuff is recorded and you have all the evidence that you need. Even if you decide not to go to court for whatever reason against them, you still need that information because you just never know how crazy these individuals will get the things that they'll do just to get to you, just to, just to see what you're doing. You need to be careful and protect yourself. That's what I'm all about here at this channel, guys. And that's about it um, for this video. So, guys, just be make make sure you just go ahead and subscribe, um, like, and just comment and tell me if you um, had any experiences with stalking or what your experiences are. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.